Hi everybody, me again. Uh, I did a video a while ago showing you how to uh, add a prefix or change a prefix to multiple file names at the same time. I did that initially uh, using Windows PowerShell uh, and most recently I found an easier way of doing that with a Power Rename tool provided by Microsoft as part of the uh, Microsoft Power Toys utilities. And uh, I was asked how to change file names um, on mass again or in batch mode if you like but this time to add a suffix uh, to the file names so i thought i'd just go through that quickly uh, but using the power rename tool so if you haven't got the power rename tool uh, installed uh, i'll add a link to the video description below to show you how to install that once you've installed you just need to open it and make sure power rename uh, is uh, activated so if you search for Power Toys and open that up, once that's open on the left hand side, just scroll down until you find uh, Power Rename, left click on that, and then here you just want to make sure that's enabled. Once it's enabled, just close that out. Uh, then go to the folder where you've got uh, the files that you want to rename and highlight them all. Once they're all highlighted, just right click and then select Power Rename, which is a new menu, like menu item that you'll get once you've installed uh, Power Toys. Here then you've got the um, Power Rename interface. All of the fold, uh, files are highlighted with a tick. If there's a particular file that you do not want to uh, make subject to the change, just uncheck it, otherwise leave them all checked. So to add a suffix, we're gonna use a, reg, a regex or regex or regular expression. So just left click that. And you wanna use the dollar symbol um, for the end of a file name. Uh, then type in what you want to replace it with. So I'm just going to put in an underscore brackets and the word suffix just for um, the purposes of the demo and press enter. So the good thing here is you can now see the original file names here uh, in the center and then to the right you can see what the file names will look like. So you can now see underscore and suffix in brackets is placed at the end of file name. So once you then uh, click apply, those will take effect. So just do apply and close and left click. And then if you go back to the file names, there you go. You can see uh, the word suffix has been added to all those file names in batch. So that was nice and easy. Uh, I hope you liked it. hope you found it helpful. If you do, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video.